Welcome to the 48 Rules of Retirement. Today we explore Retirement Rule 45. Try a night at the opera. Ed Gardner said, Opera is when a guy gets stabbed in the back and, instead of bleeding, he sings. It's important for retirees to try new recreational activities. Most don't realize it but they have been exposed to opera music in movies. Who can forget the helicopter scene in Apocalypse Now? The dramatic sound of Wagner's Flight of the Valkyries, with the chilling attack on the Vietnamese village. I spent a night of deprogramming at the opera, listening to Carmen in Toronto's wonderful Hummingbird Center. As a child, I was classically conditioned by my dentist to detest opera. He listened to sopranos and tenors while drilling my teeth, without applying any painkiller. Hence, I associated opera with torture. Carmen, was a good choice because it's one of the more famous operas, easily accessible to unsophisticated types such as me. It begins with an overture, designed to curtail patrons from idle gossip about the tacky clothes that others are wearing this evening. The first thing I noticed about Carmen was an emphasis on the primary color red, with curtain, props, and costumes all bathed in bright red. Red is the color of passion. Carmen is set in Seville, the home of bullfights and fiery Spanish women. Even spicier, Georges Bizet, the composer, portrays Carmen as a gypsy. Everyone knows gypsies sizzle and they are quite temperamental. Although the opera was first performed in 1875, long before Freud and his erotic theories, Bizet sets the opening scene near a tobacco factory where young women seductively puff heartily on cigarettes in front of a group of virile soldiers. You automatically conclude that there's going to be trouble. Sure enough, Carmen arrives, hotter than Tabasco sauce. She immediately tries to seduce Don Jose, minding his own business, dreaming of the innocent girl next door. Carmen does things with a rifle that would make Freud blush. Don Jose pretends not to notice, but when she throws him a flower, of course it's red, he is smitten. Carmen is the prototypical free spirit, the temptress, the siren who derails any man in her path. It's like dating Doris Day for years when Bridget Bardot, Sophia Loren and Marilyn Monroe suddenly appear. Carmen is every man's secret, sensual desire. Bizet complicates matters when Carmen forces Don Jose into jail. He deserts the army, and becomes a smuggler, his life in complete disarray. She runs off with a tariador, wearing sunglasses, at night low less, much to Don Jose's chagrin. Again, red predominates, foreshadowing big trouble as with Stanley Kubrick's sea of blood streaming from the elevator in The Shining. Don Jose stabs Carmen to death outside the bullring which is also the color red. The opera was terrific. Despite my dentist, I loved the music and surprisingly, was familiar with many of the arias. Even better, I once visited Seville and remembered the supposed tobacco factory. The conductor, Richard Bradshaw, and his orchestra were exceptional, and they received hearty applause. The practice at operas is to lustily shout, bravo, so I tried a few and pretty soon I was greeting all of the singers with, bravo. Even the orchestra received a, bravo. Many of you are thinking, why go to the opera? I won't understand it. Not to worry. A translation runs across the top of the stage, but that's not necessary if you are conversant with color symbolism. Also, they keep repeating the same words when they sing so after a while, you catch on. Would I go to the opera again? You bet. Handel, the chap who wrote that Messiah, is up next with, Rodalinda. Today's retirement affirmation. I don't like making plans for the day because then the word, premeditated, gets thrown around in the courtroom. Please don't forget to, subscribe, and, like, the Retirement Coach channel as well as provide comments as we seek to expand the videos. Have a great day, and get ready for retirement rule number 46, soon to come. Thanks for watching.